prey to go around. One of the characteristics of Amazonian waters is that there are many giant species. The largest predator of floodplain lakes is the Pirirucu, a species that belongs to an ancient group of freshwater fish. The Pirirucu reaches over three meters in length and is one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. Not only are its massive jaws covered with teeth, but strangely, so is its tongue. When the huge tongue is pressed against the roof of its mouth, it acts like a second set of jaws. The Pirirucu opens its cavernous mouth and sucks in its prey. The swim bladder of the Pirirucu has evolved into a lung to gulp air. As the Pirirucu rises to the surface to breathe, it betrays its presence. The caboclo will try to harpoon the giant fish when he sees it rising to the surface. The Pirirucu can only go about 30 minutes without breathing. Thus, the skilled fisherman is able to anticipate when and where the fish will rise to the surface. Once harpooned, the large fish pulls the canoe about. This struggle can go on for up to an hour. Fishermen are willing to invest a lot of time and energy in capturing a large pedagogu. A successful catch not only provides food and cash, but it also enhances the caboclo's prestige in his local village community. The Pirirucu is the most prized food fish of the Amazon floodplain. It is not only a difficult fish to catch, but once caught, it requires great skill to get the giant into a small canoe. Unfortunately, Pirirucu numbers have been greatly reduced in most Amazonian rivers because of overfishing with modern nets. Pirirucu become especially vulnerable to nets during the low water period when the fish become greatly concentrated in these floodplain lakes. Giant Pirirucu weighing over 200 kilograms are now quite rare. As the river level continues to drop, even the nature of the channels has radically changed. When the rivers are at their lowest level, large stretches of sandy beach emerge. The beaches are ideal nesting sites for some of the animals of the Amazon. Soon after the beaches appear, black skimmers begin to take up residence. Their nests are only shallow holes in the newly exposed sand. Black skimmers are one of the few ocean shorebirds that are found far inland. Other animals that nest on beaches arrive in great numbers.
The most conspicuous animal to use Amazonian beaches is the giant river turtle. It reaches one meter in length and is the largest river turtle in the world. During the high water season, giant turtles spread far and wide in the flooded forests to feed on fruits and seeds. During the low water season, the turtles gather together on certain beaches to dig their nests. An individual female may lay more than a hundred eggs. The eggs are covered carefully, where they are left to incubate in the warm sand. The female retreats to the vast river system. She will not return to the beach until she is ready to nest again a year later. Many Amazonian rivers are so large that seen against beaches they are reminiscent of seashores. In fact, early explorers often referred to the Amazon as the River Sea. On a single beach, over 7,000 females may lay their eggs in the three-week nesting period. Because so many turtles use the same beach during the brief period, earlier nests are often dug up and the eggs kicked out and left exposed on the sand. The abundance of eggs attracts many scavengers. Black vultures are usually the first to appear and they make much commotion on the beaches while squabbling over the exposed eggs. Very few Amazonian beaches are now used for nesting by giant river turtles. Heavy exploitation of both females and eggs by man has resulted in the decimation of what was once one of the most common reptiles in the Amazon. This past abundance is now only apparent on a few protected and isolated beaches. At the peak of nesting, turtles come onto the protected beaches all through the day and night. Another reptile found in large numbers on Amazonian beaches is the spectacled caiman. Other than man, adult caiman have few predators. The major exception is the anaconda, the largest snake in the world. This giant of the snake world can reach up to 10 meters in length. 
It hunts mostly at night and along the edge of the water. A caiman makes such a good-sized meal for the large snake that it may not have to feed again for a month. However, caiman are fast in the water and difficult prey to catch. When water bodies shrink during the low water period, many species become crowded in a small space and aquatic life takes on a totally different nature. With water level at its lowest, river banks are exposed. These banks attract clouds of butterflies. The butterflies gather in huge numbers to take mineral salts oozing from the drained bank. The concentration of butterflies and other prey at the river's edge attracts sun bitterns, not only for feeding, but also for courtship rituals. During an elaborate courtship routine, the male sun bittern offers the female gifts of food. Sometimes gifts have to be offered more than once as the female is very demanding. But he is not deterred, and she accepts. The water's edge is also used for fishing. The male sun bittern uses his foot to chase fish out of the vegetation. This tiny fish makes yet another gift for his mate. Perhaps a fish is more welcome than a butterfly as she accepts it without hesitation. For the young